The children of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner, fish fingers, potatoes and peas. High up above them, the spiders of Scuttleton Primary School were eating their dinner, flies, flies and more flies. How many flies have we got today, Mum? asked Spinderella, the smallest spider. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. That's not a number, complained Spinderella. Never mind about numbers, eat up your flies, said Mum. After dinner, the children went out to play football. The spiders swung down to watch. What a tackle, they cried. Yippee! The children scored goal after goal. How many goals is that, Mum? asked Spinderella. Lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. Spinderella sighed. Oh, what a family. How will I ever learn about numbers? When the children had gone home, Spinderella said, Why don't we play football? Don't be silly, said her biggest brother, Speedy. We haven't got a ball, said her second biggest brother, Scrabble. I can see a pea on the floor, said Spinderella. We can use that. Mum chose Speedy and Scrabble as the captains of each team. Nearly all the spiders decided to join Speedy's team because he was the fastest runner. Speedy's team scored all the goals. It's not fair, the spiders on Scrabble's team shouted. Yes, it is. You're just jealous shouted the spiders on Speedy's team. To make things worse, the spiders heard their legs kicking the pea. And before long, they were all quarreling, moaning and kicking each other instead of the pea. Mum had to blow her whistle. How many spiders should we have in each team, Mum? asked Spinderella. Uh, lots, said Mum. Loads, said her brothers and sisters. I think both teams should have the same number, said Spinderella. But her brothers and sisters all turned on her. Down with the numbers, they yelled. Next morning, Spinderella woke early. She felt sad. I wish I could learn about numbers, she sighed. And so you shall, came a loud voice. Spinderella spun round and saw an enormous hairy spider. Who are you? asked Spinderella. I am your hairy godmother, said the enormous spider. Follow me. Spinderella scuttled after her, out of the dinner hall, along the corridor, into a classroom. And up to the ceiling. Spinderella looked down and saw a teacher come into the classroom with a pile of football bibs. Keep your eyes and ears open, said the hairy godmother. And in a flash, she was gone. Now, I want you to count yourselves, said the teacher. There should be 20 of you, but let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Then came the most wonderful sound. The children took turns to shout out a number from 1 to 20. Spinderella swung joyfully backwards and forwards in time for the counting. The teacher gave out the football bibs. Put them on and find the others with the same color, he said. Soon there were two groups of children. How many in each team? asked the teacher. The children counted again. Ten reds, said a girl in red. Ten blues, said a boy in blue. The same number, shouted Cinderella. She was so excited that she let go of her thread. Look, a spider squash it, screamed someone. Cinderella froze in terror. No, let's put it out of the window, said the teacher, and he did. Suddenly, Cinderella was outside. I'm lost, she wailed. I'll never see my mom again. But then she turned round and spotted two football goals. I know where I am now, she said. She scuttled round the outside of the school, in through the open window of the dinner hall.
and up to the web. Hello, mom. I can count up to 20, she said. Uh, never mind about that. Eat up your flies, said mom. I'm going to count them first, said Spinderella, and she did. I've got 14 flies, she told her brothers and sisters. So what, they said. Down with those numbers, up with flies and football. That night, the spiders decided to play football again. Mom, said Spinderella, I've been counting. There are 10 of us, so we need five spiders on each side. Some of the spiders muttered, down with the numbers, but mom shut them up. Spinderella sorted them into two teams of five. She was in Scrabble's team and she also helped mom to keep the score. This time, no one quarreled or kicked each other, and at halftime, each team had scored three goals. But still, the spiders kept hurting their spindly legs, kicking the pea. I wish we had some football boots, sighed Spinderella. And so you shall, came a voice. It was the hairy godmother again. How many boots do you each need, she asked. Lots, said mom. Loads, said Spinderella's brothers and sisters. That's not good enough, said the hairy godmother. I need to have a number. Eight, shouted Spinderella. We each got eight legs, so we each need eight boots. Done, said the hairy godmother. There was a flash, and there on the floor were ten little piles of boots. Each pile had eight boots in it. The spiders put them on and laced them up. Then they had a wonderful second half. They scored goal after goal. The hairy godmother clapped and clapped. With only a minute left to go, each team had scored eight goals. It's going to be a draw, muttered Spinderella. But just then the ball came her way and she gave it an almighty kick. Spinderella has scored the winning goal. All the spiders ran up to her. They picked her up and all together they cheered. Up with Spinderella. Up with numbers.